Hi team, I'm going to make this video to show you what uh, we have um, for the mobile app to resolve um, conflicts that um, users may create in our Carex ontology. So the background is that since we allow users to add terms to um, the ontology, uh, we did provide user with freedom of express their uh, concepts and characters, character states, but also at the same time, we have the risk of having uh, different definitions, um, different groupings um, um, presented in the ontology. So this conflict resolver runs, um, there is a background program that collects um, potential conflicts and send those conflicts to this mobile app. Um, the algorithm is going to run every night to gather um, potential conflicts sent to the app for users to solve. Um, in my mind, the user, the experts who can solve those conflicts are the Carax experts, uh, Tony, um, um, Bruce, and uh, uh, Julian, um, and maybe other Carax experts that who can who have the domain knowledge to help us curate the ontology. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, the current design. There, there are bound to be problems. However, we wanted to have a, a fairly simple um, app that um, experts can use with minimum training. So login, um, you can certainly register for user, um, but um, I have a user created. Um, so the, on the dashboard, what you have is a welcome message and it tell you you have completed five tasks. Click the task button above to work on more. So let's click on this. Um, I have um, um, examined potential conflicts that the user could create um, and grouped them into um, currently um, five major groups and uh, miscellaneous. We don't have anything in miscellaneous yet, but um, if we identify new potential kind of conflicts, we will add those. So currently, um, what you can see is um, uh, the, the terms that has different opinions expressed by the user. Um, the green ones shows the term that I, the user Bob, um, have um, expressed opinion, has made a decision. And the red ones are the to-dos. And we can uh, open those and you can see the five tasks that I have completed earlier. So those five tasks are the green ones that's currently shown. So I want to show you um, each every um, category. Uh, what I want you to do is to um, pay close attention to the information presented on the screen and see if the information provided are sufficient for you to make a decision for each of the term. So the first find category, I'm going to click on this new task that I have not worked on. Um, so on the screen, you see the term um, and anything that's presented in the conflict resolver have multiple opinions or lack of any opinion. Um, those are the issues that we, we need to solve in the ontology. So this pale um, uh, highland has this example sentence. So this shows you how this phrase has been used in FNA. Um, this provides you some context information. And the green bar um, asks what you need to do, ask a specific question that you need to solve. Which of the following categories does Pale Highland belong? So Highland and Pale are the two categories. If those two terms has definition, 
the definition is going to show here. If this two term has illustration, it's going to show here. Um, and you can choose either of the two or both of them or none of them. So for example, click on this using the action that I just did basically tells um, the system your decision that pale halen is a halen. It belongs to the halen group, but it also belongs to the pale group. So you could also click on this. Um, alternatively, if you don't click on any of those, you can click select a new category. So this um, shows all the all the terms that we have in the ontology. If it could belongs to other things, um, so we see some shape terms. Obviously, the color terms does not belong to color. You can find um, specific terms by actually type, and the system going to actually filter all the terms and show you the matching term. In this case, we want to find the narrowest. Um, broader concept to pale halen. Um, so pale and halen would be good enough. Um, so I'm going to stick with my original choice of um, select the pale and the pale. Um, and now we can submit um, our my decision. So now I tell the system pale and halen is both halen and pale. Um, you can also, in case that this term, it just doesn't make any sense. If that there is a bad term, there's lots of conflicts, you can just say, I want to reject the term. Um, when you click on reject the term, the system would ask you to confirm why it is not good. Um, and you can record a, a, a reason. Um, um, if this is not a good term, but um, there is an alternative that should be used to replace term, and you can select um, from this list. So pale Helen is a character, it's not a structure. So we will see it's a character. If there is another term that we can select or type and the filter um, um, to as a as an alternative term. This, you don't have to fill this. If this is simply a bad term that you don't want to be included in the ontology, um, then you only need to re, uh, enter a reason, bad term, um, not relevant, something like that. Um, and then the, the button becomes active and you can reject the term, okay? Um, so I'm going to cancel this because th in this case, I want to submit my uh, decision. Um, when you, um, to make the decision easier um, for others to understand, you can actually um, enter or record a comment here. Um, you can use your microphone to record um, or, or simply type, um, type um, a comment. Um, this comment, um, when will be attached to your decision. So when another user comes in and look at this term, they will find your comment by clicking on others comment tab. So at this time, there's no other people has left a comment so far. Okay, so I expand this user interface and now I'm going to submit this decision. And every decision has a confirmation button that you want to read and to confirm. Um, so I have worked on this term, so this term turned green, okay? This is the first type of conflict when one term belongs to multiple categories. We, um, we want an expert like you to confirm um, whether those categories are appropriate. Um, the second type of conflict, I'm going to record it in a different video. I don't like very long videos. Um, thank you so much for your attention.